Hey, what's up guys? It's Epically New with you guys again. And this time we're going to be talking about Soul again. Okay, so for this video, Soul, for this video, uh, we'll be going through uh, the best build for Soul. I know I did a video similar to this uh, like uh, not too long ago for both Soul and Vigan, but now that I have him, I do want to make a confirmation on the best equips for him. Um, Alright, so let's just get down to it. As you can see, Soul's uh, skill kit is kind of unique, whereby he does gain Fighting Spirit, and the Fighting Spirit lets him get an extra turn. Um, and also this does Dispel, and also uh, both of these do uh, damage proportional to the enemy's max HP. So, he is very unique in a sense, but then again, he is also slightly hard to build. Um, one of the reasons is because uh, the extra turn only comes when you have max fighting spirits. So you want to stack that up as much as possible so that you can attack as many times as you can. But then again, in order to stack that up, there are like fixed builds that you can use. Okay, generally there are two builds that you should be able to use. And apparently I have my mentality wrong about soul using uh, the attack boot instead of the speed boot. But okay, so let's get down to it. Let's start with uh, the second best build for him, and that would be my current build. Okay, maybe not really exactly my current build, but uh, what I would say is you want to have his attack higher definitely, most like uh, at least 3000 or so. Uh, his defense and HP may be slightly higher, but that's not the important part. The speed is the important part because you want him to lap as much as possible. You want him to use his S1 so many times that you get a lot of fighting spirit. So the speed that you want to look for is 200 and above. So yes. But then again, the optimal set is speed unity. Yes, it's speed unity. So you want to you want him to be able to dual attack as much as possible at the same time lap the enemies as much as possible so that way he's able to prop his s1 as much as he can getting as much fighting spirit as he can as well and using the extra turn very often that will be number two as for the artifact it's honestly highly subjective there are a few that you can use like the randell so you just get extra turns um Apart from that, there are not many others that you, I can recommend except for like Uberus 2 for more damage since he is fully, fully single target. So that would actually help him as well in terms of the DPS department. But because his stats is really low, Sigurd Scythe is a second option as well. And Elspeth if you don't have a net 5, um, net 5 artifact. Now let's go on to the first, the first and the best um, built for him which would be counter unity yes i said it counter and unity it's a very odd combination which not many people will actually use because it's very hard to stack the stats because you're using um, two sets that do not add additional stats except for unity sort of because it does add dual attack four percent but then again if you want to think about it, um, no matter what happens, you will proc your S1, which is great. So if the, let's say an enemy hits you, counter set procs, S1 activates. If, uh, if let's say your, your ally hits with an S1 and you proc the dual attack, you will proc your S1 again. So dual, uh, so you'll you'll be stacking a lot of fighting spirit, like a lot, and if the enemy uses a buff, you use this. So, but this doesn't increase the fighting spirit. So it's like, how do you say, soul attacks a lot. Uh, done deal. So, he he's able to stack a lot of fighting spirit. He'll get a lot of extra turns, and yes, basically most of the fight will be just be him using S1 and S2, S1 and S2, S1 and S2, and occasionally S3. Um, but the stat requirements if you do use counter unity is very um, hard to stack. So the amount of attack as usual, try to get at least 2.5 to 3000 minimum. 
the defense and health in this case since you're going to use a counter set so you want to have more health so the defense at least about seven to eight hundred reasons is uh when i do my excel the excel presentation that i will sooner or later go through uh, on the the damage scaling along with defense of the enemy uh, you will know why you want at least 800 or 700 defense um, for health definitely 10k and above and speed if you can 170 180 uh, using a speed boot of course and your crit damage uh, 100% of course your crit sorry your crit damage 200% okay, and your crit chance uh, 100% Effectiveness honestly isn't very important for him at the moment just because he only has one dispel. So I would say he's not very uh, a dedicated dispeller. But then again, it does give uh, 60 fighting spirits. So that's another way of getting your fighting spirits. But if you like and if you can, at least 55% effectiveness uh, for PvE situations at least. For PvP, which I don't think you guys will want to use him in PvP because he is very squishy, so he is very, very, very hard to build. But if you can build him similar to uh, the ML Cans build or or like using counter units, but you're able to stack like a lot of defense, a lot of health, a lot of attack, a lot of speed, a lot of crit damage, a lot of crit and a lot of effectiveness, then be my guest. If you guys can do that, you guys are probably like uh, legend rank probably or or high champions. Uh, I can't do that. I definitely can't do that. As you can see, I made up to challenger like based on team comps. So yeah, this is my opinion on the builds that are recommended for soul, and it's subjective. If you guys do not agree. Let me know what is your recommended build uh, in the comments below. And if you like the video, do like it. Uh, if you if you want to see like more videos uh, about these kind of things, uh, feel free to subscribe to me. Uh, it's not really compulsory, I would say, because uh, I'm just doing this out of fun. So if you guys see me uh, in the in the list, just feel free to just tap on it and watch it. Uh, have fun and cheers. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Ciao.